skip you to the T. It's Gary, baby. All right, John Rick's about the morning show. Hey, the same as being embodied by My Computer Career. If you don't absolutely love what you do, go to mycomputercareer.edu and take the free career. Excuse me, the free career evaluation today and become an information technology professional in as little as four months. That's mycomputercareer.edu. What up, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Before the American Music Awards last night, it's being reported, y'all, that last week, Megan Thee Stallion, y'all, she raised eyebrows after having dinner at Kylie Jenner's baby daddy rapper Travis Scott's house, and they're saying, y'all, that Kylie's furious about it because she's feeling that Megan and Travis may be having an affair. Now, they're saying, y'all, Megan is also appearing, y'all, to be trolling Kylie with her new music, music video. Now, it's being reported, y'all, that eagle-eyed fans noticed Kylie's arch enemy, Black China, and Jordan Woods were also making cameo appearances in Megan's um, music video for her new single, Body. Now, they're saying, y'all, that for those that don't recall this, honey, Miss Kylie Jenner famously, y'all, cheated with rapper Tiger behind Black China's back, y'all, and they're also saying, y'all, that you know her ex best friend Jordan fell out of you know was supposed to be allegedly messing with um Khloe Kardashian's baby daddy Tristan Thompson. So these girls are all just mixed up and crazy in the head. But I think that's not true about um about um Megan and um Kyle. I mean Megan and Travis because they are neighbors in Houston. They both grew up in Houston, Texas. So I don't think that you know Megan would be messing with him because she had all the time to mess with him before Kyle even got with him. So I guess Kyle just been a little insecure and stuff. You know, the same way you get those men, that's the same way you lose them. So let's keep her lifted in our prayers. All right, while we praying, y'all, let's continue to pray for female rapper Mulata. Brad, you know her? Oh, Mulata? Yeah, yeah Mulata. Why? I said, yeah, why? You know, girl, they say Mulata, honey, is a weave thief, honey. It's being reported that the Mulata's put on blast. A weave, she's been stealing weaves, honey. They say she's been oh, stealing girls' hair for several years. They claim that Mulata was a notorious weave thief. Gary, they, that's <laughs> the dumbest thing I ever heard. They say it all started when a single shop owner claimed that Mulata had stolen hair from her in the past. Then they say within minutes, other people started saying that, honey, that this girl, honey, was stealing, um, alleged stealing weaves and what happened. <sighs> Did they do that when you was she, she rapping? Don't, she, don't, she don't have to steal weaves, Gary. She's, this is, uh, it's, oh my God. But you know Red, what, Brett? What? How do people even pull off stealing weave out of them beauty supply stores the way I, they I, no, 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 no. Be these, like that. Uh, no, the, see, <laughs> the, the, we're not talking about they cheap twelve dollar wigs. We talking about we talking about five hundred to twelve hundred dollar <laughs> units. Thank They're you. called units. Damn, units. But I don't, I, I don't. <laughs> this ain't true right here. But yeah, we ain't talking about beauty supplies though, babe. That's yeah, what is that what you get? I know you ain't talking about. You that. get them up out of there, special nah. K. Oh, they're running on you. <laughs> you steal something out of there. You, you get man, wigs out of there, special for a rat tail cone. Oh, you rat know, huh? <laughs> oh. Yes, tell me more. Tell me more I about know, the honey. wig store. Yeah. Well, anyway, what else they sell in there, special K? <laughs> Pink oil moisturizer. Wave control gel. Yeah. Yes, girl. Okay. Just for me. Oh. Yeah, oh, we got to... yeah, this is my final just story, y'all. We Soft talked about brushes. it last hour, but Wave more brushes. people wanted to know more about this story, y'all. Elena Mayo, y'all, she's the estranged wife of Lena Waite, y'all, has filed for divorce 10 months after the couple announced they had split. Now, according to court records, they're saying, y'all, that Elena filed a petition for divorce in Los Angeles Superior Court. Now, they're saying Elena and Lena tied tonight just last year after three years of dating and announced their split in a joint statement in January. Now, they said, quote, after careful thought and consideration, we have decided to part ways. They said in a statement, we have nothing but support for one another and ask that you respect and that you respect our privacy during this time. Which is what you're not doing right now. <laughs> when you put it out there, honey. And oh, this is what she said was really cute. Um, she said, um, this is what Lena said. She said, we went to the courthouse and got married right in front of Harvey Milk's bus. She said, honey, she said, it was her idea like all good things are. And she was just driving and we just saw the courthouse and said, we should get married there. And I said, cool, I'm down. And they got married. And she also said that it was a humbling day, you know, to marry someone so amazing, but also to really appreciate all the work that so many people have put in for us to be able to do that. She recalled everybody should be able to do that, unquote. That is so touching. Oh. That is touching. I mean, <laughs> right in front of Harvey Milk's bus. That was so nice that they got married. And, and I mean, it would be nice to explain who Harvey Milk was. Uh, yeah. yeah. That, uh, yeah. Everybody, everybody don't know, everybody I, I don't know who Harvey. You know who he is? <sighs> yeah, he was he was a politician back. I think in San Francisco, he was an activist. He was a, he was instrumental in helping push legislation. I don't even understand why we're talking about this oh, in a bus. 
in, in her. In, I don't know like, what a bus car is. It's not even. Yeah. A bus is a statue. I know. The color yeah, of the day, honey, is one of my you. favorite colors. Oh, color bus. Day, yeah. Uh, the color of the day, honey. Uh, let me get my color. The color of the day, you damn it, is um, <laughs> cranberry. On the high end, you say cranberry. On the low end, you say maroon. All right, y'all, give it up again with the Z. <laughs> All right, what up next?